couple of questions. Where did you start well with photography or video? And who or what brought you to the art form that captivated you to make you see the world from different perspectives and through different lenses? Let us know down in the comments below. Before I got started with my first camera, I started right here on this platform that we are right now on YouTube, where I stumbled across Moment, um, their YouTube channel. And I was trying to learn how to use my phone to create stories and share them on the internet back in like 2016. I actually didn't start sharing on this channel until last year, but I started out with the iPhone 6 Plus, the Moment M 18 millimeter and the 170 degree fish eye. This, what you're looking at right now is the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but this is similar to what his setup would have looked like. Huge phone, small lens, and this is what I used to run around with and capture the world. I'll mention all of this because I just got wind that Moment is releasing a new series called the T-Series that comes with eight lenses. And it brought me back to where I started. Whenever they release anything new, it kind of makes me think back to that moment when I found Moment. And it definitely piqued my interest and pulled me into this rabbit hole, which I'm in right now and sitting in front of like, it brought me from that one point of my phone to using all of the gear that you see me using on this channel. Now I'm making this video because if you are new to photography and video and you are looking for a place to start and you're trying to decide whether this is a hobby or a career path you wanna go down, then this is definitely a great place to start. A phone, attachable lens that gives you different focal lengths and even going up to the anamorphics, which gives you a flare that you know, kind of gives you a different look and a different perspective and a different stylistic taste to what you're creating. Definitely check these out, but let's run through the whole lineup before I, uh, you know, to pull myself out of the thinking back to the old days. But like I said, Moments just announced eight new lenses in the T series, starting with the anamorphics. There's four anamorphic lenses. There's two versions, the 1.33 and a 1.55 times, but they both come in a blue and a gold anamorphic flare definitely want to get my hands on these always wanted these since they were first announced years back never had the pleasure but i definitely want to grab these anamorphic lenses definitely on my radar next up is their most popular lens the 58 millimeter classic portrait lens have not used this lens before but i've been getting more to telephoto and I'm excited for this one. Then there's my favorite, the first one I purchased, the 18 millimeter wide angle monster. Great choice for establishing shots and vlogging. And yeah, it's just a great all around lens. Definitely if you're looking for a wider perspective on your phone, if you don't have access to the iPhones, which gives you that super wide perspective, cleaner way to get it with the 18 millimeter. Then there's the 14 millimeter fish eye, which is even wider than the 18 millimeter looking for a different perspective. And then there is the one I definitely have my eyes on and probably the first one I grab. And that is the macro 10 times lens. Like I said, I've been getting more into telephoto and getting closer to the subject. Definitely some great options in a lineup of the Moment T series. But something I do wanna share is that I'm not one to quickly pick up my phone and say, this is what I wanna create with right now at this moment. But it is part of my workflow when it comes to brainstorming, figuring out how I wanna compose a shot and shot listing. And when I'm out, when I don't have the cameras, I can always grab a shot and have a way to build out my ideas before I get to the point of sitting in front of the camera or going out and creating something just for fun. I'm definitely excited for these lenses, especially that macro lens and the anamorphics, but definitely the macro lens. But you can find out more about these lenses by using the links down in the description. I want to thank you for stopping in and sitting here and talking about gear. Thanks for watching while staying awesome. Stay awesome. Over, 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 over.